Number 34. Mr. Lloyd Fortescue. Number 115. We'll get an OBE. Number 16. Sir Percy Manning. Number 126. Becomes a Viker. I should be there now. Hello, listeners. Frank Sybottom here. What I've actually done is I've sent little Frank in a cardboard box to Hollywood, right? Because he doesn't need a passport or anything. Because I am moving into that brilliant industry, films. Are you there, little Frank, in Hollywood? Oh, yes, I'm just in the post room in a fantastic Hollywood studio. Right, we'll get the box open and find out who's there. Oh, can you open my box, please? Uh, hey, open. Who hey. is it? Who are you talking to? Uh, who are you, please? I'm a Sly, Sly Stallone. His name's yeah. Sly Stallone. Right, we'll ask him what he's doing working in the post department, will you? What are you doing in the post department, Mr. Stallone? The Rocky Five had, had bombed, you know, then they said, can you do Rocky Six? And, yeah. But, like, when it starts getting uh, high, I can't count as far as so I'm working here in the mail room. Brilliant. Right, ask him who's on set today, will you? Who's about today, please? Jack Nicholson. Oh, yes, he's, Jack Nicholson. He's doing a movie with a Dustin. A Dustin? What's that? Dustin Hoffman. Right. Sort us out an interview and I'll be over. Hey, Mr. Nicholson. Yeah? Hey, you probably don't know me, but you might know my boss and mentor, yeah. Mr. Sidebottom. Yeah, I ain't got long to talk to you, so you better make it snappy. Right. It, would it be all right if he came over and did an interview with you? Sure, yeah. Fix it up with my agent and, uh, you know, I'll give him five minutes of my time. Right. Well, by the magic of radio, I'm here. Hello, Mr. Hoffman, how are you? No, uh, I'm, I'm fine. Doing a movie with uh, Jack, yes. You're, You're doing a movie with Jack? Just say I wanted to move into movies. Right. Yeah, movies. Uh, could okay. you give me some tips on the acting side of it? Because yes. you're an actor, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, I'm an actor. I'm, I'm a method actor, you know? Like, yeah. So, say you're going to do a part, yeah. yeah. Say you're going to play someone, like, down and out to get into the part, you got to, like, live on the streets for, say, four weeks. Could I not just have a script that says I am living on the streets? Well, you can do that, you know, but it's not proper acting. I did the Marathon Man, you see that film? Marathon Man, That's yes. right, yeah. You have well, to eat loads of chocolate. Uh, you know, I had to run for miles and miles, yeah. so I looked like a guy who just won a marathon. Can I, I do the man who meets you after the Marathon Man? Something, the one who doesn't do too much running? Would that be all right? Uh, let me talk to the director. Mr. Nicholson, okay. just come over here a minute, will you? Okay, I'm coming. Can't be nowhere with him, am I? Right, right, Mr. Okay. Nicholson, right, uh -huh. say I want you to be... Hey, aren't you an actor as well as a director? Yeah, but I do been directing too, because uh, I know all about it, man. Well, this is more what I want to do, really. So, so forgetting Mr. Hoffman for a minute, uh -huh. how can I get into your line of work where you're acting and directing? <laughs> who is this guy? Maybe act with Streep? Well, yeah, you know, we know. Street with Meryl. Get a big movie, maybe have some car chases in it and a lot of axe murders. And What if you've not got a license for the car, you know? Could I not do that with a uh, back screen projected <laughs> man or something? No, no actors, actually. Well, hey, I... what if it's dangerous? Do I have to have a stunt man? Yeah. Can I use my dental quiz of... puppet listen, for that? I'll talk to you later, OK? Yeah, no, I'm well, listen, you. listen. Why don't you have a tea break now and I'll take over for a bit, right? Because I can see the clapperboard over there and your child. Just cross okay, your name right. out, write my own name in in crayon and get on directing. Just okay, leave it in right. my hands, it'll be all right. I'm set, everybody. OK, I'm taking over this movie. And, uh, action. Some of them lights, please. Oh, yes, I noticed the chemist was closed on the way in. So if you give me some dangerous chemicals, I can develop this for you tonight in the bath on the way home. OK, Frank, yeah, we'll do that for you. There you are, Hollywood. Here I don't come. And next week on Radio 4, we have a feast of traditional British comedy. It starts on Monday with that wonderful show from 1937, Why It's the Colonel, starring that much-loved and much-missed comedian Tommy Tibbles. Hello, me old muckers. <laughs> Can you hear me at the rear, uncle? <laughs> Is there a chiropodist in the house? On Wednesday, you can hear an episode of Keep It Reactionary, the classic satirical programme from 1962. Hello, good evening, and groovy. <laughs> can you hear me up there, Miss Keeler? <laughs> Is there a minister in a compromising position? And on Friday, you can hear the classic live Wobbly Bits on Stage show from 1984. Hello, you bunch of farty features. <laughs> can you hear me up my bottom, Thatcher? 
Is there a social worker in the toilet? <laughs> The series will be followed by a discussion programme on how comedy has changed over the years. That's classic British comedy starting next week on Radio 4.